is not for you to know. The task is for you to act. And you are to act from the commitment to the value of what it is to bring a livable world. And if you act, and you act from that power of love in your heart, the energy and the dignity and strength of your soul, you will create the conditions for those to come who will one day, as they see the walls of privatization break down, that's what ultimately communist thought is about. Not the stereotypical stuff people talk about among Europeans and all those. I'm talking about what it is to say, for instance, there should be no nation states. I'm talking about the radicality of saying nowhere on this planet should any human being be illegal. I'm talking about the situation where you can move, you can live, and you can cultivate in a situation in which no condition of capital could constrain and make you vulnerable and dependent. If capital treats you like shit, you go somewhere else or you get rid of it. And that means that it has to create livable conditions for your labor. If you build in that way, then you will create the reverberating force that Fanon talked about, not only when he said, oh, my body, make of me a man who questions, but also when he said at the end of Le Dernier de la Terre that we need to build new concepts. He means new houses, new relationships, and set a foot of new humanity. If we do that, then those to come, whom we will never, any of us, know right now, <coughs> will look back and they will say in their hearts, in their souls, those powerful words as you now say to those ancestors. And those words, you know those words. You know those words. You know those words. In the English language, those words are, thank you. I know you, got, you all have to catch transportation. But I also thank you for the honor of being able to spend this time with you. Thank you. Yeah.